Hello everyone, my name is Christine and today I will be taking you to image segmentation using K-means uh, clustering. We shall start by defining what is image segmentation. Image segmentation it is the process of dividing or partitioning an image into various sections. Um, image segmentation it has various, it has a number of applications and one of the application it is it is used in self-driving cars because in self-driving cars we have image recognition which enables the the car to be able to drive itself by recognizing various uh, various items within a specific road and we use image segmentation another major application it is used in health care services whereby an image is taken and um, it is segmented or it is divided into various sections. It is analyzed so that it can detect uh, it can detect things like uh, tumor and um, various illness within a given uh, image. And uh, in image segmentation, we shall be using K-means clustering method. And K-means clustering method, it is a machine learning algorithm which is unsupervised algorithm. And what I mean by unsupervised algorithm, it has no label data. So with that, let's get started. And uh, in this project, you need, uh, you need a Python installed in your system. You need OpenCV, which is a computer vision. Um, compare, it is a computer vision model. Uh, we also need matplotlib library, which is uh, will be using will be used for plotting, and uh, we also need uh, numpy, which is which will be used for computations. So, if you have that uh, in your computer system, we we'll start. So we we'll start by importing those uh, three libraries. That is uh, OpenCV, which is import CV2. We will import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We will import uh, numpy as np. After we have imported the vital libraries, we will start by linting our image using imlint. So image equals cv2.imlint, then you pass the image that you want to analyze. After your path, uh, I'll need to change my image. You need to change my image, or you also need to change your image that you are analyzing from brown green to uh, red to uh, red green to brown. Um, the purpose of changing changing your image from this color to another color, it um, it is because these different colors they have different dimensions. Of the image, it differs in um, pixels, the pixels of the image. So in that in that case, you change using CV2 color method. So you would say image equals CV2 dot uh, CV2 dot CVT color. Then you pass the image, the image that you print. Uh, then uh, you use this color because you are converting it from uh, these two, the, the, that is a bloom green uh, land to green blue, green, uh, red and uh, green blue. Then you plot out your image and you can see this is my image that I want to analyze. A very cool image that was taken back in, in 2019. So as I was saying, image is an image or rather a given picture, it's just some um, numbers. That is, the dimensions are just the numbers. There is an in image is basically and dimensions, just numbers. And an image it, it is a three D. That is it. That is it has three dimensions. And for us to analyze our image, or rather for us to segment our image, we need it into two D. There is two dimensions, so we will convert our image into 2D. 
uh, using the reshape method you can see under the reshape method it is a numpy method that is used for converting uh, an given array into from one dimension to another so we have converted it into 2d using the reshape method that you can check it out it is in um it is in 2d and at this point we need to convert our data from the integers that is the the array of the image from integers to float you can do that using np which is a, a numpy you can remember we send import numpy as np so you change them into float float 32 so you can check at this point that there were integers at this point they are floats so after that we need to define to define the criteria for algorithm that is the k-means algorithm the number of iteration it will need to go to uh, the number of iteration it will requires to run so you want to define it over here that is criteria equals cv2 dot term underscore criteria underscore eps plus also you need to define the maximum number of iteration the algorithm will learn there is uh you can do that using cv2 dot term underscore criteria underscore max underscore retail then you have to specify the values and i've specified my value it's 100 and another value is 0 0.85 and since you are using the k-means algorithm, the k-means algorithm you also you need to define the k value. That is the number of classes or the number of clusters we want our image to be partitioned into. So in my case, I want this image, image over here, to be partitioned into three clusters. So I've defined the k value as 3. After we have defined that, uh, we also need to define the centers. You know, if you don't know how uh, k-means clustering algorithm works, you need to go and check it out because you need to know the centers. So you need to define the centers, the labels, and uh, the retrieval value. This is where the magic is happening. This is where we are changing. We are segmenting our image so so you define centers labels and lead uh, the retrieve value which is equal cv2 dot k means this is the value we define it the k value we define it now we define all these things after we do that our image is segmented but at this point it is just an array we cannot um, be able to to plot out that array we need to convert it into various various data so that we can be able to plot it in that case you need to convert the centers the centers into eight bits and we can do that using np dot in hint we convert the we saw at this point of converting the centers into eight bits and at this point, our image, the image that we have, it is in a, a two-dimensional array. And we need our image to be in one-dimensional array. So we convert the segmented data into one array using the flattened method. The flattened method just convert and give an array into one dimension. So you, you use that. So we have our segmented data. So for us to be able to plot out this segmented data into an image, you have to convert this segmented data into the original dimension of the image. So we'll do that using the reshape method. We'll say segmented underscore image is equal to the segmented data that we have here, that the reshape image dot shape, that is the original dimension of the image. And after we have that, we can plot out the segmented image, which is here. 
using pltn.m show the segmented image. And you can see this is the segmented image. This is the and the we have our original image which is this you can check out the people we are wearing maybe bright colors these they, these two and these are uh, these two and these two you can check out those we are wearing pure black and um anything that you want to to analyze from that picture you can check out because the purpose of uh, segment uh, image segmentation it's for you to transform and give an image into something which is analyzable you can see you can if you ever take it you can analyze it from this image this is and that is image segmentation using k-means and gelding it is so simple you don't need much you need just those uh, equipment you uh, installed in your system and thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe